polygon below is a regular octagon. So here we have a regular octagon and it states here to calculate the size of the angle X. And so here we have angle X and angle X is an interior angle of this octagon. And so in order to figure out the size of this interior angle, what we are going to do is we're gonna use this formula and the formula states that the interior angle is equal to 180 multiplied by n minus two all over n. Now, what is n? Well, n is equal to the number of sides and the number of sides of this regular octagon is equal to eight. And so what we have here is wherever we see n, we're gonna put eight. And so what we have here is we have eight and eight. So we have 180 multiplied by eight minus two all over eight. Now, what is eight minus two? Well, eight minus two is definitely six. And so we have 180 multiplied by six all over eight. Now, what is 180 multiplied by six? Well, 180 multiplied by six is 1080. And we have to divide that by eight. Now, when we divide these two by, now when we divide these two, we have 135. So 1080 divided by eight is 135. So that means that the size of angle X or the size of an interior angle of this regular octagon is 135 degrees. Next, our goal is to determine the size of angle Y and we are gonna use diagonals to do that. Now the rule says that for a regular polygon, the number of diagonals that originate from a single vertex is N minus three. In this case, n is eight because we're dealing with an octagon. And so that means that each vertex of the octagon has eight minus three, which is equal to five diagonals. And so that means that each one of these, at each one of these vertex, we can draw five diagonals. Now we have this vertex and we, are, we draw one, two, three, four, five diagonals, all right? because five diagonals, because according to the rule, this vertex can, we can draw five diagonals from this vertex and not just from this vertex, from each vertex, but we really wanna focus on this vertex because we're trying to find the size of angle Y. Now, so what we wanna do is we know that the, the we know that this entire angle right here is an interior angle and we know that the interior angle measures 135 degrees. And so what we need to do is we need to figure out the size of these little spaces here, right? What is the size of those spaces? Now, in order to do that, we're gonna take 135 and divide it by six. And we divide it by six because there are one, two, three, four, five, six spaces. So we have 135 divided by six, which gives us 22.5. And so that's how we got 22.5 here. This is 22.5, 22.5. And each one of these little spaces measures 22.5 degrees. And so if you wanna figure out the size of angle Y, we know that angle Y only accounts for two of these spaces. And so that means that angle Y is gonna be equal to two multiplied by 22.5. And so that means that Y is equal to 45 degrees. So that means that the size of angle Y is 45 degrees and that is the answer to this question.